So we sent out a letter to our customers earlier this month, and it was really interesting because a lot of people came back with really supportive messages, but one of our customers was outraged that we had mentioned climate change as part of our mission and part of the reason why we're excited about what we're doing here at Endo. And what occurred to me later was that I wish I could tell this customer, and I should, that hey, if we weren't inspired by our concern about climate change, the end of window insert never would have been invented and we never would have started this company in the first place. And of all the things that people can do to address climate change, buying an end of window insert is really a great one because it makes people more comfortable, it makes their spaces quieter, it saves them a bunch of money on their budget every month. And uh, what's the harm in that? So uh, if climate change is what inspires us to work harder and do our very best, then why not? And there's no harm. Uh, but we're really proud that uh, our install base of endo window inserts have blocked tens of thousands of tons of carbon uh, already, and uh, the number keeps growing every year. And we did some projections and we think that we're going to be able to accelerate the positive impact of our business on climate uh, with some innovations that are going to make it a lot easier for people to buy our product. When we launched Endo, we had a vision that we would create this for-profit carbon mitigation machine and every single Endo window insert we sold would block carbon, but as we made money, we put it back into the company so we could grow and have a more positive impact on the environment. We also had this idea that if we could harness our creativity and do what we do better and better, we could share the increased efficiency or profit margin uh, with our employees through higher wages, with the company uh, through higher gross margins so that we could feed that growth cycle, but ultimately with our customers too through lower prices that would make it easier for people of all income levels to buy our products. So this year, uh, I would say that we've made tremendous progress on two out of those three goals. We haven't made the product yet as accessible as we would like to. So as we look forward to 2020, we want to make Indo window inserts more accessible to people by making them uh, more affordable. And we also want to make them just easier to buy. And on the more affordable part, we are planning on partnering with some community organizations and nonprofits in the Portland area to put together some projects for the Portland Clean Energy Fund, which is an innovative way uh, that Portland is, is going to make its whole economy more sustainable. And uh, that'll be a great way to engage people in the community and also figure out ways to make the product more affordable. Um, we're also working on new product designs that we also think will allow us to deliver the same levels of comfort and energy efficiency as we do now, but at a lower price. Uh, the other big part of this is making it easier to buy into window inserts. The laser measuring system we use today works really well. We're able to deliver six foot by four foot trapezoids to the other side of the country. And when people first go to press them in their window inserts, you know, their window frames, they fit just right. And that's something we do day after day really well, and we're really proud of that. But the laser measuring process also takes time, and time is the other precious commodity a lot of people don't have. So we're gonna work on making it easier to buy our into window inserts and more affordable, and we think that's what's gonna help us achieve our mission in the coming year. These are my into window inserts. They help keep the trains that are right outside my window from making too much noise the light rail that's over there. So let's walk through the factory a little bit. This is the pile of laser measuring kits that just got mailed to us today by all the customers out there in the United States. We have hundreds of laser measuring kits in every state. People are laser measuring their windows when they're done. Here they come. We refurbish them, clean them up, and get them ready to send back out. Here's a kit. It's got a laser, little corner measuring tool, a handy guide, samples. These are just some really big endo window inserts. They're bigger than me. 
These are for Prince Harry's new house in Canada. It's really cold up there, and his castle's kind of dry. This is where Mark works. He's the guy who helped me invent the end of window insert. He's kind of a creative guy. And uh, we do a lot of research and development in here. Well, that was another good day of saving historic windows and preserving our environment. It's time to go home.